join us here and I'm joined by Neil Thompson who is going to talk us through the brand new Sony PXW Z150. So Neil, over to you. Thank you. Well it is brand new actually. It, it came out of the box first thing this morning for the show. Oh wow. And I think it was announced at 8.30 this morning worldwide. So yeah, brand new and shiny. It's the um, Z150. There's some other letters before that, but I think you forget so many letters. Z150 will do, won't it? But this is kind of the big brother to the um, the X70, okay. which is a really easy to use little palm cord almost thing with um, a one inch sensor. This has taken that one inch sensor technology another step forward and uses what's called um, a stacked CMOS sensor, uh, which is a, another development of that same one inch sensor. The, the Sony Imaging Sensor Group is really on a roll at the moment. There's some great sensors coming out of the factory. But they've put this into a, a neat little camcorder package, uh, 12 times optical zoom on it. It says 18 times there, but that's including the, the clear vid zoom technology, which is kind of a digital zoom, which sounds really bad, but it's not. It's brilliant, and it works fantastically. As, as used on, on some of the previous cameras yeah. as well. Yeah, the X70 uses a similar kind of technology, yeah. But there's three, three mechanical rings for controlling the zoom there, uh, built onto a, a proper camcorder body, usual sort of thing, two XLRs for the audio, uh, MPF series batteries, uh, nice uh, flip-out viewfinder and a, a ponytail-style viewfinder as well. Uh, but its main features are, compared to the X70, I guess, that it's 4K straight out of the box. It's also got the ability to record slow-mo as well. So it'll do either 120 or 100 frames a second of, um, uh, of uh, high frame rate capability, which is nice. Yeah, very nice. Um, it's all built around SD card recording technology. So the cards are really cheap to buy, but the limitation there is that the write speed is not quite as high as it is, say, on an X, um, on FS7, where you've got the XQDs. So everything has to be managed into a smaller box, as it were. So the codecs on this camera are all long grouper pictures, XAVC L flavors, going up to 100 megabits per second for the uh, full on 4K recording. So at 10 bit 422 for HD, if you knock it up to really stress it and put it up to 4K mode, then it will be 30 frames a second and um, 8 bit 420 recording. So very similar to the FS5. FS5. Yeah. Exactly. It's exactly the same kind of philosophy, if you like. If, we, if we're going to have to record on SD cards, which are cheap and cheerful, then we're going to have to look carefully at the data rate and manage it. But the XAVCL codec is really good. I mean, it's, it's, it's very efficient. It, it, for about the same data rate as, uh, sorry, for about half the data rate of XAVC Intra, you'll get the same quality or maybe better even. It'll stress your hardware a bit more, so if you're uh, playing back on a laptop multiple streams, then it's, it's going to stress it a little bit, but that's the price you pay. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. Now, this, this is available now, is it? or um, Shown first today, available, I believe, April. Probably coming in, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this or not, but just under 3,000, probably somewhere around, somewhere around that sort of. You heard it here first, guys. Uh, now that's brilliant. Thank you very much, Neil. And if you're looking to pre-order if, or if you'd like some further information on the camera, do get in touch. Telephone numbers 0208 977 1222. Or you can jump on the website www.visuals.co.uk.